What's going on everyone? John here with another video. Today I'm doing a haul of uh, some tackle I ordered through a few companies. Um, first was Tackle Warehouse. The other was Perfect Jig, the hookup tackle. The other one was from X-Zone. So I ordered directly from the X-Zone um, website. So it's a mixture of terminal tackle and baits, soft plastics, hard baits, all that fun stuff. So without talking this too much, let's unbox. So the first box is from Perfect Jigs, right? I got these uh, tungsten Ned heads, right? So these ones, what they are, this one's a one tenth ounce. I got two packs of these, which um, they're tenth ounce with the two odd hook, right? Two packs of these, because you figure, right? Like now one sixteenth may be a little too small, right? And if you're fishing shallower water, a one tenth is kind of like that fine line between a one eighth and uh, a one sixteenth. So you have that little fine line. And then I ordered a pack of the uh, eight ounce, all black, right? As you could see, is uh, smaller than your average, uh, than your equivalent size of lead heads, right? And these ones have a rounded head, so I believe that these can slide through grass a lot better than the uh, flat ones and then nice gesture from uh, the perfect jig he threw in a pack of free ned wardo ned worms right 2.7 inch and uh, there's 10 in a pack and this is kind of like a summer craw color right nice baits you know nice color Definitely gonna catch some fish with a 2.7 inch. Should be deadly. So let's uh, let's check one of these. Let's open her up. And another thing good about you know the way it's packaged, you have this um, plastic uh, guard on it, so you don't so you don't hook yourself right here. So this is the rounded head. very nice all right so the next box is uh x zone all right so i got i believe four packs of the hot shot minnow and the uh, ned zone ned bait so this right here is the uh 3.25 three and a quarter inch hot shot minnow eight in a pack war mouth right here so it's uh kind of like uh a green pumpkin chartreuse with blue flake. I'll pop one out. So this is how they look right here. Nice looking baits. Beautiful. Most likely they float. So I'm going to be drop shotting these as well this summer. Next up, the three and a quarter inch hot shot minnow in 309. And this is another popular color. Here, as you can see, the pearl, the uh, brownish see-through, the large black, and looks like uh, copper and purple flake. All right, looks just like uh, like a goby bait fish or something. This color is uh, big limit. It's similar to 309, really. But the pearl is more of a purple color. You have more of a purplish uh, color um, pearl than the uh, the uh, bluish pearl. All right, so it's it's a little different. Similar similar uh, color style, but different pearl. And as it says on the on the packaging, it does float. This one's green pumpkin blue flake. Go somewhere that has a lot of uh, bluegill, you know, a lot of sunfish. This one should annihilate them. So yeah, pretty much your standard green pumpkin blue flake right here. And then last for the X zone baits, um, but definitely not least, 
the um, three inch net zone in green pumpkin blue flake. Right here. Right. Can't wait to drag these along bottom. I'm a finesse fisherman, so I get uh, I get excited when it comes to finesse baits. But nice looking bait. I love this color. So up next is baits from the uh, hookup tackle, right? They had uh, some nice baits that I can't get nowhere, right? So let's start off with the um, with the dual realis. The uh, spy bait. This is the um, spin bait 62 alpha bait cast model. You don't really need to use a bait caster with this. It's three eighth ounce. So this color is called CL Dace, and uh, I know that there's some Dace type of species in where I fish. And like I said, it's three eighth ounce, and it's uh, two and a half inches. And you know. Even though it says bait cast version, right? You could use it on a spinning. Um, it looks pretty natural and, and yeah, you know, most likely gonna cast like a bullet on my Ned rig setup, right? And uh, I'm hoping uh, the fish chomp on this, right? I mean, there's really only one way you can fish it. So, so let's hope uh, they, they find this appealing. So next up, um, we got some crankbaits, All right? I always wanted this one, this color, the uh, Lucky Craft LC 1.5, and it's MS Impulse Shad. You know, the I use I used this uh, last year with good success. Uh, three to four feet diving depth, two and a quarter inch, uh, half ounce. So it's a nice color. You got the uh, yellow on the head. You got the pearl and orange on the bottom with the metallic flakes. And then you have like a purplish uh, holographic um, pearl type of uh, scale pattern on the top. Nice looking bait. So I got another crankbait. This one is MS Gunmetal Shad. Right, you have the white and the chartreuse on the bottom the metallic flakes and then you have like uh, some bluish uh, flake with some flake on the top looks like a green and gold flake and green and silver flake actually with the uh, with a grayish blue top another sweet looking color should grab a lot of fish last but certainly not least for the hookup tackle order i got this uh Mega Bass Vision 110 Junior. This color is called uh, Wagon Hasu. Wagon Hasu. Probably butchering the shit out of it right now. But uh, yeah. So this is the Junior. All right. And uh, let's see. It's uh, 3 8 ounce. Right. And it dives to 4 feet. So, you know, where I fish, this should be actually really good. Um. You know, especially come the fall time, right? You know, I fished the pond, so they should be keying in on, you know, bait this size, right? All right. And I'll open this up and we'll see how it looks. Absolutely beautiful bait. Gorgeous bait. And and being a 3 8 ounce, like, you, you could cast it really nice with a bait caster. Right? I could cast a quarter ounce crank bait like it's nothing on 15 pound fluorocarbon. So, this should be easy. Right? Nice looking color. Should definitely get crushed. Also, what I love about the uh, Mega Bass 110 Juniors is that they put three hooks instead of two on them. So no matter what, you got a much higher chance of hooking up with a fish, no matter where they hit it. So now here's the um, Tackle Warehouse box. And uh, I ordered the most from the Tackle Warehouse. So like I always do in my videos, my, my Tackle Warehouse unboxing, you have the, uh, the sticker, right? 
that's uh, that's a mainstay in my videos. All right. So first things first, some Guggen Squad crankbaits. All right, purple and chartreuse, one of my favorite color. This color is called uh, Cosmo Shad, I believe. Let's see. Yep, Cosmo Shad. All right. Chartreuse purple. I'm open this up. The banger. This one's the uh, three ounce, two and a quarter inch. So yeah, pretty much the same size as the um, pretty much the same size as the uh, Lucky Craft LC 1.5. Yeah, so after like five minutes of trying to pull the side stickers out, I finally undid it. So here it is. That tells you two to five feet. I have this in the uh, quarter ounce one. I've caught a lot of fish with it last year. All right, hoping to get some bigger ones. That's the, uh, yeah, you hear my mother-in-law. Here, and my father-in-law. You hear the rattle right there. Yeah, I love the chartreuse, the orange, you know, the pearl purple and the glitter, right? Deadly color bait right here, the flat banger, right? Three to six feet, two and a half inch, half ounce in uh, shotgun shad. So here's the flat banger. Another five minutes gone trying to undo the, uh, the stickers that hold the, uh, the package secure. Right, and you have this faint um, chartreuse, and then it says three to six feet. All right, it's flat. You got that nice uh, white with the metallic uh, scales. All right, the uh, it's like a metallic gray. We'll call. It, yeah, it looks. If it wasn't metallic, it'd be like destroyer gray. A great looking bait. This thing should smash off of rocks and get some some strikes. It's also got a rattle, if you can hear it. All right, so crankbaits are done. And now I got these um, shaky head um, jigs, right? These uh, jig heads from Gamakatsu. They're called the tricky head. This one's the uh, 16th ounce. This one's 332nd ounce. Right, and the reason why I like these, as it shows here, they got like a spade, right? So it should slide through grass a lot better than your standard rounded shaky head or a football head, right? And that's what I look for. Some that I could go through weeds. I fish a lot of weeds, right? And these are black, right? Bottom shake and glide lockdown keeper. There's no screw lock. So you just Texas rig them with the keeper. Then I got some uh, drop shot weights, right? These are tungsten from Rains. So this one here is a 16th ounce, and this one's a 332nd, right? And honestly, I've been looking for 16th ounce and 332nd ounce drop shot weights for a long time. And it seems that only Japan... Um, manufacturers japanese manufacturers are the only ones who go like that right everywhere else you see eight ounce um three sixteenth you know and then you have a quarter and it goes from a quarter to to three eighths then half right but you never see any manufacturer here in north america do anything less than um eight ounce in tungsten so these are nice and I got the uh, the rounded eye because I cast, right? So this should allow me just to tie it on, right? And uh, probably I'm going to be using the 332nd more than the, th than the 16th ounce, or I'll probably use the first, and then I'll switch it up if, if need be. But with the way that I fish, um, I believe that this should give a little slower fall also with allowing me to cast it far. Then I got some drop shot baits over here, the um, Robo Worm Sculpins, right? And uh, I've been wanting to get these for a while, something like a, you know, like a bait fish shaped uh, Robo Worm bait, right? That I can nose hook. 
And this one's Morning Dawn Red Flake, and it's a 4-inch. So it's a 4-inch sculpted. This is how they look. Oh, my God. You know these things are going to smash it. I can't wait. So this one is a 4-inch sculpted in uh, Aaron's Magic r and B. I wonder if that means root beer. I have no idea, but I'll open it. So yeah, you got like a, like a dark, dark melon, some pearl blue, and and brown. And there's a little bit of red flake. Not sure if you could see it, but uh, but the red flake is there. Right. Nice looking bait. Oh yeah. Gonna crush it with these. I'm a huge fan of RoboWorm. They actually got me into drop shotting back in 2013. I've been using them ever since. And that's my son. <laughs> this one is the uh, Forge Sculpin and Margarita Mutilator 3. All right. If you know, you know. All right. There's Margarita Mutilator 3. Great dark water or muddy water color, right? Stained water, gives it that contrast. Beautiful. Then I got the uh, four and a half inch uh, Ned Worms in Green Pumpkin Perch. So these, I'm not gonna be running them on Ned Rigs. I'm actually gonna be Neko rigging these, right? Such a sweet color. You got like that pearl blue on the bottom and then you have the uh, chartreuse which goes to the tip of the tail and then you have the uh, the green pumpkin with little black flake. All right. And these robo worms tend to float. Last but definitely not least. The robo worm 3 inch Ned Worm and green pumpkin perch. So these I'll definitely be using on the Ned Rig. Um, I've Neko Rigged these with success, the three inch. That's if you really wanna go finesse, right? Same color as the four and a half inch, right? It's gonna go nice with those tungsten heads that I got. So these I'll definitely be using on the Ned Rig. Um, I've Neko Rigged these with success, the three inch. That's if you really want to go finesse, right? Same color as the four and a half inch, right? It's going to go nice with those tungsten heads that I got. Yeah, that's the end of my unboxing video. I hope you enjoyed. Uh, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And uh, I'll catch you on the next one. Thanks for watching.